For me, it's about an opening up of literature for people. Um, and usually for, for people who haven't had that opportunity to read a, variety, a wide variety of, of literature. Um, so for example, older people who may have left school at 14 um, and didn't have those opportunities. Or maybe for children and young people who um, maybe are experiencing difficulties with uh, literacy. Um, and it just opens up a whole wide um, range of literature. They enter into different worlds, different adventures, hear about uh, different characters doing wild and wonderful things. And it's in a very safe space then that we open it up um, to discuss some of the issues that arise from that. I attended an over 50s club and we had a reading class and I found it so enjoyable and then I heard about the reading rooms and we were looking for our facilitators so I thought I'd come forward and see what it's about. Well I loved hearing the stories and when, when I was um, young I was always told I was stupid at school and I never could learn um, the proper way of learning and later on discovered dyslexia. So um, once I knew what it, what it was about and the difficulties that I had in, in learning and knowing that the English language can be very daunting and I knew I could read anything but I couldn't write it or spell it. I found it very, very difficult. But I thought to myself, well there must be other people now that I'm at ease with myself at the age of 63, I'm at ease with myself. And I thought, well, maybe some people now would like to hear how I cope with things and that, found, that I find the course so enjoyable. And maybe if I'm going to do the reading rooms, explain to other people, not to worry, just take something lightly. And it doesn't have to be a big, big book. It could be a short poem, it could be a short story. And see what they take out of it and it can transport you to another world. It's a tremendous privilege to actually sit with them, talk with them, read with them, and it is reading with them and not to them, and to see the way in which they relax and the smiles creep across their faces. Um, afterwards, when we have a, a bit of a discussion about what is being read, they become very, very much involved. And in fact, it's, I, I receive much, much more from it than I give to it. And it is tremendous, in that sense, I find it a tremendous benefit to them and to me. So I, I feel that I am doing something that is, that is good. I think that looking at the statistics in Northern Ireland and looking at how many young people are leaving school without no formal qualifications, I think it's an excellent opportunity to enthuse young people on literature and reading and also the environment here is very warm and friendly and welcoming and it was just an excellent opportunity for us to work in partnership with Fairwell Arts. Um, we have full numbers basically every week 
Um, young people are enthused. They are taking books home every week and they love it. It's a great time for them and they come here and it's time for them to relax, take their shoes off, kick back and listen to, to, listen to a few stories. And also they've been taking part and reading themselves and they seem to be getting a lot from it. The benefits I'm seeing already is that they're becoming more confident in their reading. A lot of the young people that I'm working with would have um, a low reading ability and for them they actually step out and read in front of a group is fantastic. So the confidence that they are gaining as well as the social skills is amazing. Last week we done, we got a poem and it was about a, a donkey, it was a footballer, a donkey footballer from Brazil <laughs> and uh, it's funny so it is and we always we always have a bit of crack and it's the stories are interesting and uh, all my friends being there, so yeah, most of my friends. It's helping us out to read more in class and you know what more Bert does if you get stuck in a couple of words. We like taking part in it because it's uh, interesting to hear other people uh, read out to us so we can know how to pronounce them properly. Well, uh, I was very interested in reading rooms because it was something which we could uh, offer to the men on this particular wing. This wing is a wing for the elderly uh, prisoners and very often they would have mobility issues as well. So it was an opportunity to bring them together on a Tuesday afternoon to do something that was different, that was well, first of all, getting them together, that was a, a social uh, aspect to that. And also to do something which would, uh, in a sense, take them beyond the world that they find, find themselves in, which was one wing of uh, a block here in McGilligan. changes offending behaviour, a whole range of things. There are programmes here, uh, but coming together, talking together, looking at text together, that too can help people to reflect and to self-reflect on their own lives. And sometimes that can be just as important as anything else. Um, it's an amazing process, it's a very simple process and I think that's why it works, it's just the simplicity of it. But it, there's amazing points in a reading room where somebody who feels that, you know, there's no right or wrong within the reading rooms, it's not a literal interpretation, you know, of literature. Um, it's about your responses and your response is just as valid as my response. Um, so when they actually get to realise that and they think that they've made a va valid point um, and everybody kind of sits and comments on that and reflects on it and they go out the door thinking gosh I've really you know given something into the reading room today and that's a wonderful moment when that that happens. <laughs>